Hello and welcome. So this uh, video is about uh, Google Sheet data form. How you are going to manage you know large number of data you are going to enter through Google Sheet. Normally, <laughs> sorry. So when you have uh, you know normal few data, you simply can enter in Google Sheet and that's fine, right? But if you have uh, hundreds and thousands of data and you know data entry operator is going to use um, the special interface to enter data and they don't want to see you know back side so how do you do that in google sheet it's here is a simple form it's done using uh, you know google sheet it's the background uh, nothing is actually change uh, you know select the area range and then select the color you want but at the same time you select this uh, grid line select all grid line you know all border and then uh, give the color same as this color so it will hide you know all the lines that you usually see uh, in uh, Google sheet or any spreadsheet now except this one this one is color in different color you can change other color as well but i uh, you know use as this transparent reset color so this uh, d4 d6 d10 d12 and g10 g12 these are the field um, for you know entering data for example i entered west bengal if i enter the next field will be activated that is country field if i enter again the next field will be activated population Popu, uh, population okay so here 135 for example and then enter and next field is GDP and the GDP is minus 7.5 is rare in history that it's up to minus something like this and then uh, area I, I don't know I have to check it and literacy around 64 or 60 percent so this is entered once it is entered you can save it or clear it if I save it it will also clear the data as well and at the same time it will enter the data here you see that's it and if you want to you know enter some data partially and then you want to refresh it you can clear it so that it will be ready for new complete data entry so um, I will go to step by step there is a small uh, script function that's uh, doing this form submission one is uh, let me submit data and it is nothing but uh, it has two reference one is to form sheet another is data sheet okay and the values are being entered into this data sheet that is data sheet and it is uh, entering d4 d6 d10 and so specific cells are actually uh, we are inputting into the data sheet and the data sheet always is going to enter in the last row plus one so last row is this uh, data sheet is this one if I enter new data it will be uh, last row plus one is this one so let me show you once again just a random thing okay uh, and then save you will see the last uh, row is this one so how is that done here get last row plus one to set the values uh, in the next uh, you know uh, available row and then clear form so the clear form also is linked to this button this button how do you link you go to this and then assign a script so I have assigned a script clear script right now uh, next thing is on edit so when you enter this data for example WB and enter you see after one second delay is going to the next cell and that's done using this on edit function it has one array and 
the entry sheet and it is actually checking if you know uh, sheet name is entry sheet that is form if it is not then it's not doing anything similarly if it is not within that range okay if it is not uh, within that range uh, is giving here then also don't do anything and then but if it is within that uh, range uh, then it's going to plus one the index index of what entry cells index so it's going to activate the next uh, you know cell so that is all this function is doing and one more thing maybe you are interested to how to protect this you know operator may type here you want to see something like this so you just have to select the range you want to protect and then go to protect uh, protected sheet and range here i have already protected uh, the range um, not this one format data yes data yeah data okay so here I have this setting I have selected uh, the range and then sheet the so whole form is protected and except certain uh, you know cell you can choose the cell here and give uh, something like specific d4 and d so you can uh, you know add multiple things here if you like but here I have already uh, let me show you name range uh, supposed to be already protected because I have already protected this area uh, sheet uh, let's give a name protect form except except white shell so this is uh, the name I have given to this one and I want to give d4 d6 d10 and d12 g10 g12 okay so these are the field uh, actually i want to protect set permission already has set permission so it's already okay so here is the name protect sheet except white cell so this is i have already protected you can also give different per you know restriction like specific person you want to you know allow they can edit other area so you can enter email here and that's it that's it so if you enter something in other area uh, you know it will give some warning but uh, if you have allowed the person to edit then it will not give any uh, warning so if i want to show warning myself also so yeah we can set that as well with warning setting and that's all about it <laughs>